my prediction on the housing market 2023 this is a, a uh, I would say a loose prediction, but I would say it's a, it's a prediction to to show where we came from, where we've been over the course of the last 10 years, and kind of where we're going, especially as you read a little bit of the writing on the wall from the feds on them raising interest rates. But really, you have housing that's coming off a very high, and it's been a high for quite some time. People have talked about it's going to be, you know, the crash, uh, the worst crash than uh, it was in 2008. And I, I find that hard to believe, um, not because I come from a real estate aspect. I do find that hard to believe because really you have two things that really drive an economy when you're looking um, at economics is supply supply chain and then also demand. So we don't have the supply there that really meets the demand. Well, ultimately, it, it is meeting the demand. People are still going in to ask I've, I've submitted you know, multiple offers over the course of the past couple of weeks with my clients, and this is the tail end of 2022, and we've been beaten out. And I know people say, well, this house has been sitting on the market. Yeah, they're going to maybe accept less money um, versus accepting you know, a lot more money, but there's less houses that are sitting on the market comparatively to 2008. So there's still less choices, even with people out there looking to buy. And there are people still out there looking to buy. They, they just got qualified. They just moved to the state that you're in. Um, they, they maybe moved from one part of the state to another. I just had, you know, a fellow friend move from one part of our state down to closer to me and he got a bump in pay and was able to increase his income because of that move. And ultimately they put him in a different position and he's going to buy, you know, a different home. So there's all these things that drive the economy, especially in, a changing market, it doesn't really matter. So I think over the course of the next year, we'll see interest rates still go up for the short term. So the next six, seven months, and we're in November right now, uh, leading into December of 2022, I think that interest rates are going to go up. And then eventually, I don't think it's going to be the spring. I've heard some people predict it in the spring, they'll taper off. I think it's going to be more into the summer or the tail end of the summer next year. They're not going to go up as aggressively, but they're still going to continue to trend up. And then we're going to have a slight downward trend of interest rates, which will still bring people into the fold on buying. And the buyers are going to be, you know, willing to jump in because there's still less inventory. Inventory is going to tick up a little bit more than it was, but we're still in Orange County alone off 2,000 active listings. We're at about 3,600 Um actually 3,800 and our normal is about 62 to 6,400. So we're, we're almost 3,000 off, but we still have some makeup to do. And we had, you know, we're, we were five times off the buyer versus seller back in 2008. There was about five times more listings than there were buyers out there in the market. So that's why there was such a big correction. Right now with interest rates, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a correction because people don't want to buy like they were the past two and a half years, but they're still going to be in the market willing to go after homes. It's just going to be a more condensed look versus the last two and a half years. People kind of just look at the last two and a half years and think that that's always going to be what it is. It's not not going to be the case. So you got to look at all that. You got to look at the trends. You got to look at what, what happened the past tw- 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and then the real estate increase and what we saw back in the 70s and 80s. And I think that the average real estate um, in- interest rate, pardon me, is about five and a half to six and a half percent. So we're really in the threshold of normal. But people remember it's only been three and a half percent for the last, you know, and fluctuated up to five percent, but really been three and a half to four and a half percent the last 10, 12 years. So now all of a sudden this hit of it going to seven percent is a big red flag to people. But you just got to make sure you're cautiously patient on 
pulling the trigger on a property. So things things to think about too as you look to 2023 to buy a property and be in the real estate market as well. And then on seller's note, you can still list your house, just realize that you may get a little bit less than what you expected or you may be asked to pay down a certain person's interest rate at the close of escrow, which makes sense too because maybe you're losing ten or $15,000 from what that list price is, but you're still getting that buyer and you're still able to move somewhere else um, to a bigger house, smaller house, or out of the area. So things uh, especially to think about in 2023.